Hello ladies, gentlemen, bots, and trolls. This is Jim. Uh, Canada's global pharmaceutical giant Apotex has confirmed the death of its billionaire founder Barry Sherman after police reported two suspicious deaths at the couple's upscale Toronto home. Police did not identify the victims who were found on Friday, but Canadian media named them as Sherman and his wife Honey, prominent Canadians whose deaths sparked an outpouring of grief among the country's political elite. We've been informed of the tragic news that Barry and Honey Sherman have unexpectedly passed away, said the Twitter account of Apotex, which Sherman founded in 1974. The company, which made its name producing generic drugs, grew to employ more than 11,000 people worldwide. Now, Toronto police, said, police, excuse me, Toronto police said on Twitter that two people were found deceased in a home in Bayview Avenue, an old Colony Road area, where officers responded to a medical call around noon on on Friday. They labeled the deaths as suspicious, but according to Canadian media, clarified that no suspects were being sought. Canadian media said the Shermans had recently put up their home for sale with a price of around $7 million Canadian. Now, Forbes lists Sherman as one of the country's richest men with a net worth of $3 billion. It sounds like a, a murder to me, ladies and gentlemen, uh, a suspicious death of both of them together. Um, could have been uh, done at the hands of Big Pharma. Again, this, uh, this company, Apotex, their specialty was generic drugs, not the more expensive uh, varieties that uh, we see advertised on television, uh, courtesy of Big Pharma. Uh, there's a drug for every every affliction, affliction, folks. No matter what's wrong, Big Pharma's got a fix for you. Or was it, uh, I don't know, maybe a holistic healing vigilante that's had it with all these medications being available? I don't know, but certainly it sounds suspicious. Sounds like a murder to me, folks. I'll leave you a link to this. And when it comes to links, I'd ask you please to... Uh, Subscribe to my channel. It doesn't really require a link, but you do have to click on a tab right there. And uh, please give this video a thumbs up. Please share it if you feel so led to. And most importantly of all, these are perilous times within the maelstrom that we are living. But do not be given over to the spirit of fear, but instead of the power of love and of a sound mind that comes through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless you. Hi, this is Jim. Please allow me to introduce my latest fiction book, Fortress, a Wayfarer story. Fortress is an edgy and realistic fiction tale that depicts an America that is a far cry from that which your parents grew up in. God has been asked to leave the proverbial building, leaving the door open for enemies, natural and supernatural, to enter. As the nation stands on the verge of global and civil war and economic collapse, up is down, right is wrong, and a fog of deception has settled over the amber waves of grain. Lies are presented as truth, while those who would tell the truth are marginalized and persecuted. And could it be that those who disseminate the truth could have their very modes of conveyance taken away? If you're a fan of the alternative media and a watcher of world events, Fortress is a fiction story that just might smack of truth. It's available in Kindle and paperback, and it's linked below. Check it out today.